Hi, I'm Allison from Leading Edge Dog Show Academy, and I'm here today to demonstrate how you keep your dog's beard cleaner, tidier, and maybe even with less staining on it. So you can use this tip or trick at home with your pet dog that has a beard, a mustache, or any kind of hair on its face. Um, this is primarily directed towards people who are showing their dogs also. So you have a Havanese, you have a miniature schnauzer, you have a Bichon, you have a Bouvier, you have something with a beard. And especially those light colored dogs, what happens is just the very fact that they are breathing, they open their mouth, they lick their lips, or if they are panting because they're at the show or it's warm out, etc. Just the act of licking their lips brings the little hairs on their lip line. So here on Fifi the Wonder Dog, I don't have a dog with a beard in my home. Um, I've drawn her lip line on. Just by the act of her licking her lips and or panting, those little hairs get sucked into her mouth, right? And we've all seen it. You can take a look at your dog's mouth right now if it has a beard and if it is damp, wet, etc then those hairs the water just keeps you know collecting on them and it makes the other hairs wetter and wetter and wetter and sooner or later they have just a big wet messy beard so it's not a lot of fun to live with and also in the show ring it is unsightly especially when you're compared to people whose dogs don't have that wetness and the other thing is that for some of those lighter breeds so the whites, the creams, the party colors, etc. those hairs can then become stained because the saliva itself can actually stain the dog's hair. Even dogs that have gray or dark colored beards, we've seen the redness in their beards and that's all from the saliva staining. I mean, it can also be from food and water, but you know, a lot of it is contributed to the saliva. So I'm going to show you a quick little trick that you can do. Um, you can do it with your pet dog at home. You can do it um, with your show dog. And I highly recommend you do it on your show dog. I did it to all of my show dogs that had any kind of beard or facial hair. So if I was showing a Havanese, if I was showing a Bouvier, whenever I showed Sky Terriers, um, any of those breeds, and especially Bichons, any of those breeds that just had that hair on their face, this is how I took care of it. And it's actually quite simple. Um, one of the things you can do is um, here we see the lip line and we're just going to comb all the hair away from the lip line. So from the bottom lip down and the top lip up. Now the easiest way to really judge is you could actually go in there and just start snipping away the hair that is wet. Like so after your dog's freshly bathed, let it kind of lick its lips for 20 minutes and then go in and like kind of just cut away the wet hair. The technically how I do it is I take my curved shear and I hold it backwards so that the curved part is going against the dog's face, obviously not the pointy part going against the dog's face. And then this is how I take care of it. Starting here at the nose, I just go in with the tips of my scissors and all the way along this lip line, I just clip away at the hair from the corner of the nose to where the lip ends at the corner of the mouth. I'm gonna take all that hair off and it's just, um, it's half the width of your baby finger on most little toy breeds. And then right below the lip line, you can do the same thing. You can just go with your curved scissors and you can see I'm just taking out a little teeny tiny bit of hair, but it will make a big difference because when Fifi here goes to lick her lips, she won't bring those little hairs into her mouth and they won't get wet, they won't get stained, they won't cause the rest of the hairs to also get wet and stained. Now, obviously you're gonna, going to do this on both sides of the dog's mouth and the upper lip and the bottom lip. Again, it's with the curved shear backwards. Now, if you wanted to use a shorter shear or a blunt nose shear, if you have those and feel more comfortable, you can. And you don't have to worry about it looking, you know, it, literally this is how much hair I took out of the bottom lip. Um, and, you know, Fifi, as a model dog, has quite thick hair. And then you would just take the hair and comb it over top and you can't even really see what you have done. It looks completely the same as the other side. so can't see Fifi's eyes very well but here's the side even though she's a model dog the side that I trimmed and the side that I didn't trim all you can see is where I painted on the lip line you can't really see a difference and yesterday I did a demo where I did the top lip so I've taken out actually twice this much coach so 
that is one of the ways that we teach people how to keep the beards on their toy dogs, their big dogs, anything with a beard or a hairy face. Even if at home you have a poodle or a doodle that has an Asian fusion face and maybe your groomer hasn't cleaned up the lip line, you can go ahead and do that. Maybe in the time of COVID, your dog isn't to the groomers as often because it's harder to get in. Some places grooming isn't even open. You can go ahead and do that yourself very carefully and bada bang, bada boom, your dog's beard won't be wet, it won't be stained, and you will be a lot happier. So again, I'm Allison of Leading Edge Dog Show Academy, and if you don't know, I have a complete online school on how to groom, handle your dog. We do many, many different breeds. Uh, we do webinars. We have a lot of information out there as well as on our YouTube channel. So if you like this video, if you'd like to see more content like this, please like and subscribe to the video. You can hit the bell, let us know what you think. Um, we try to answer the comments at least a couple times a week. So if you have any feedback or any other questions, we love to get your questions because that just gives us more content for the next informative video. So thank you so much for spending some time with us. Stay safe out there. Take care.